All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 mods, and today we have two new character models created by the homie Pedro. I'm sure you guys remember about two weeks ago, I went over his recent character designs, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, base, Dragon Ball Super, Gogeta, Beast, Gohan. Sometimes they do take a while to load in just because the details are too great, sand armor trunks, Vegeta, so on and so forth. I also said stay tuned to the channel because Pedro is going to be dropping a blue variation of Gogeta, and that's who we have here today. I do like the detail in hair. You can see how we have the darker colors closer to the hairline, and then uh, outward, it's the original blue. The shadow effect is pretty great, and I do like the outline as well. You can see how when we zoom out, it's pretty thin, but when we zoom up, uh, it gets a lot more bold. In order to get these updated models by Pedro shine to their max capacity, we have to remove the original Xenoverse 2 outline and shaders. This is why the cast characters look a bit different, right? The stuff that we have to do to improve Xenoverse 2 mods out here, it's pretty epic. So I went ahead and modified his skill set. We're going in with Perfect Instinct, Clash Anytime, Variation 3, God, Meteor Strike, and Firestorm Punisher, all created by Unleashed. And as for the second character, we have Android 17 from Dragon Ball Super. As for his moveset, Arsenal Assaults and Delta Combination. Super Electric Strike from Fighters, this one was created by Solomon. And I'll be sure to have every link down below in the description. Without further ado, make sure to drop a like on today's video. And let's hop straight into it. Dude, the hair model. All right, so now seeing this actual comparison. Bro. <laughs> These updated models. Xenoverse 3. I know I always say that, but we do have the aura pack created by these mods only. No way. Which one would you rather play if um, we had the option? The one on the left, updated character models created by Pedro, or the original Xenoverse 2 models over there on the right? Night and day difference. Not even, you know, the design of the character, um, but like the colors as well. Over here on the right, you know, Xenoverse 2 that dipped in oil look. <laughs> very infamous i know but the one on the left it seems like it has this matte finish you know not shiny at all it has this perfect element to it this is actually a way better shot for this comparison but a lot of you guys have been saying that these character models right here look something similar to sparking zero and i definitely see it i think that's a huge compliment to the creator just because you know sparking zero the next dragon ball game the next main Dragon Ball game for 2024 or even 2025. We're not too sure when it's going to drop. Uh, but you know, not necessarily with the cell shaded look. I mean, we do have a little bit of that here, but just in terms of the design and models, it does look something similar to Sparking Zero. Um, let's go ahead and perform some of the new supers and ultimates. Well, they're not necessarily new, uh, but the aura in general is nice as well. Oh, Clash Anytime Variation 3! Who's going to win? Xenoverse 2 or the mod? It's a draw. Look at that. Even the facial animation. He went all out. All right, let's go over here and look at the original one. Oh my gosh. No, not even close. Are you guys seeing this? Going back over here. No way. Yeah, yeah, this is way too cool, man. <laughs> you can see whenever they yell, we get those extra added detail lines right there, right above his nose. Here is God Meteor Strike. I've used this plenty of times before. Uh, we have two variations into full force. This is what it's done. Ah! It's a one shot ultimate, and then we have the three star variation. Let's go ahead and go over there. Actually, I, I should probably just use these in an actual versus mode, but Firestorm Punisher. Let's use this for the one time. We have Meteor Strike or Comet Strike into a consecutive series of punches and kicks. Then we go straight into Stardust Fall. And it looks glorious on this new Gogeta Blue over here. That's pretty much it for this character. Oh, Perfect Instinct. Ah, it's a bit wonky at the moment. 
but it still worked, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go over Android 17. You mess with nature, you mess with me. A lot of people definitely want to see a model update for the next gen version of Xenoverse 2. You know how it's already been confirmed we're going to be getting it for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. Well, I definitely don't think that's the case. Don't get me wrong, I do understand uh, because they have been reusing the original models from Xenoverse 1 back in 2016, um, but they are getting better with the DLC characters. If we just look back at Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo, their models are probably like the coolest character designs in all of Xenoverse 2. Uh, but going back to the PlayStation 5, definitely don't expect a model update. I always say this, just take a look at Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It's just going to be a resolution upgrade, maybe with some added detail. If we have a chance of seeing an actual model upgrade, it will have to be in Xenoverse 3. That's like our best chance. Or actually, we do have Xenoverse 2 mods over here. <laughs> Technically, Xenoverse 3, not really. I know it's not official, but uh, we have new supers, ultimates, characters, characters from the manga, and upgraded graphics and character models just like this one right here. So I would say that the eyes and eyebrows are very similar to the original. However, the hair, nose, and mouth are extremely different, as well as the character outfit, I guess you could say, or the torso. So let's go ahead and use some of the supers. So Arsenal Assaults, we do have two variations to this. And of course, it's the attack that he used against the giant character in Dragon Ball Super. If we go ahead and press the input again, we'll throw out a key blast. First, let's use Super Electric Strike. So using it normally like that, it looks similar to the original one. But if we go ahead and stop it in photo mode you can see we have this giant ring i guess it's time to make the donuts we have hit over here just a redesign i don't think the other side of the ring hits the opponent uh delta combination we also have two different variations this is of course from dragon ball z android 17 and 18 press the input once more we do the snap vanish and the key blast I think that attack specifically is from Android 18, and this one right here is from 17. AA. Is that all? We dropped it. No, but again, just witnessing all of the epic, accurate supers and ultimate attacks for respective characters with new model designs is just too great, in my personal opinion. Now let's go ahead and jump straight into battle. All right, then. I can use a good warm up. I think it will be epic to see a revamped variation of Full Power Super Sam Broly. Uh, Broly over here is actually one of the DLC models that looks great in my personal opinion. Uh, at least comparing it to Dragon Ball Z Broly, yeah, it's not even close. <laughs> um, but this is why Pedro usually drops a new character model like every month or two. Just because a lot of time definitely goes into these. Let's see if we can end things with... Or not end things, but use this clash just to break the screen. Oh, no. It is what it is, man. Um, We have to use God Meteor Strike, the first variation, just because I don't think I used that. Oh, I forgot to use the other supers. So we have Stardust Rush created by Far Knights. I forgot to mention that. Uh, here it is. It's the attack from Dragon Ball Z Broly. Or not Z Broly, but Z Gogeta. Uh, we do the three attacks into Stardust Break. Oh my gosh, I'm out of stamina. I'm just going to go ahead and Limit Burst. Attack up. Perfect. Get this down to break real quick. Hey! Full power! Stardust Break! And then we'll try to use... Got a Meteor Strike. Look at that. I'm just glad I didn't destroy him. Let's see if this will, though. Oh! Look at that battle damage. Oh, he was smiling for sure. <laughs> Look at that. You can see how his vest is the only thing that's damaged. You see how it's tethered a little bit? I think that's a new detail. Whatever. Going up against full power Broly. I know it's not necessarily fair in terms of power level, but that does not matter at all. You know, he did assist Goku and Frieza. To take the dub, the victory. Well, to be fair, Android 17 did win the entire tournament. 
<laughs> hey, man. It is what it is. Oh! Wait. Damage. These modded supers and ultimates definitely take a lot of health. Hey, it's worth it, though. Oh, that can actually overpower the shield? Oh! Hey, look at that! Look at that! It can overpower the supers and ultimates! <laughs> Very epic. I mean, makes sense to me. <laughs> Yo, these matches, they end way too fast. But this is it for today's video. Just wanted to quickly showcase the two new character designs created by Pedro. I'll be sure to have all the mods linked down below in the description. If you guys would like to see more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 mods, just make sure to drop a like on today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!